हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2000 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर टू मार्क्स दे हैव गिवन यू दिस काउंटर इन द क्वेश्चन एंड दे आर आस्किंग व्हाट विल बी इट्स स्टेट आफ्टर थ्री क्लॉक सिग्नल्स ओके करंट स्टेट इज गिवन एज पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड क्यू इज इक्वल टू वन दैट मीन जीरो वन ऑल्सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ जे के फ्लिप फ्लॉप बट दिस विल एक्ट एज अ टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप बिकॉज बोथ जे एंड के आर कनेक्टेड टू इच अदर so this one will act as a t flip flop with t input is equal to 1 okay this diagram is given in question i have simplified the given diagram to this one see j and k are connected to each other that means it's a t flip flop this output p of t flip flop is connected to input d of a d flip flop so the output p of a t flip flop is connected to input d of next flip flop okay so this is the exact same diagram also they have given p is 0 q is 1 so let's write 0 and 1 here okay now let's see what will happen when first clock signal is issued on seeing this clock signal whenever you give this common clock first thing this one is a synchronous counter because clock is common to both of them whenever you want to give a clock signal both of them will see the clock okay now both of them will react to the clock at the same time this one its input is zero that means this zero will be transferred here because it's a d flip flop whatever is the input will be shown as the output only so this one is turned to zero and this is a t flip flop so this p will toggle because t is one upon toggling it will change to one okay this is the output upon seeing the first clock Now let's see what will happen when second clock signal is given. When second clock signal is given, whatever is present here will be transferred here, and this one will toggle. So this one goes here, and this will toggle to zero. Okay. Upon seeing the next clock signal, which is C three, you can see this one will toggle. Okay. That means zero is changed to one, and the previous value was zero. That zero will be transferred here. okay so the final output will be 1 0 after 3 clocks okay we have given 3 clock signals and the value is 1 0 so your answer is 1 0 you can see which option it is now let's also fill this table see the value of p if p is 1 upon seeing a clock signal that value will be transferred as it is in q okay so this column of p i'm copying it as it is in q 0 0 1 1 okay and upon seeing a clock signal whatever is the value of p will will be toggled okay if current value of p is 1 the next value of p the next state will be 0 so just take complement of this column it will be 1 1 0 0 from this table you can see the next state of the counter that means p n and q n are a function of p only we don't even need to know what was the current value of q to determine its next value because anyways it's taking the value of p okay so from here also we can determine see initial value was 0 1 so initial state is this one okay from this state if one clock cycle is given you go to 1 0 that means this one first clock cycle is done then you are given second clock cycle you will come back on 0 1 from here you go to 0 1 that means this one then upon given third clock cycle you will go to 1 0 that means this state okay so 1 0 actually this flip flop will just alternate between these two values 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 that's it okay let us just draw the state diagram also so this is the state diagram for the given counter okay 